is over 0 0.08, which is the same limit that currently applies to your driver's license. It's a misdemeanor crime on the pistol as well as a misdemeanor on the driving license. Um, and the court has the option of revoking your license up to three years. <coughs> And then if you're over 0 .10, uh, which was the old limit for drunk driving, it's still a misdemeanor, but the court must permanently revoke your pistol license. So um, if you like having your concealed pistol license, you know, take care when you're going to have a few cocktails. <coughs> take care when you're going to have a few cocktails, not to do something that will wind up losing it. I'll give you this observation <clears throat> when we start talking about these limits, is that most police officers, when they're studied, when they're surveyed, will tell you that the point at which they can begin to see drunk driving from, from outside of the car, from in their car, is 0.15, which is pretty ripped. <laughs> <laughs> And it's at that point that they can see things like weaving, erratic driving, stopping way too short of stop signs, that sort of thing. Um, that's at point one five. Clearly, if you've got your pistol in the car at that kind of a level, not only are you going to have a huge problem with your driving license, but your pistol license is probably going to say bye-bye as well. So, again, that gets back to my emphasis of if you know you're going out to have a couple of drinks, Either take the ammo out of the gun and do what you need to do to put it in the trunk, uh, or just leave it at home, and, and that way, you know, you don't have a problem with it at all, either way. Do you trust those folks in ballet? Yeah, that's, a, that's another <laughs> issue that you run into that I guess we don't usually address in here, but what do you do with your gun? It's a lifestyle thing. If you're going to, say, a restaurant for dinner or something, and you probably maybe have some wine, I don't know, and... And so you pull up and there's a valet. Do you leave your gun in the car with the valet? Do you take it inside? You know you're about to have some drinks. Do you put it in the trunk? All of this. It's an issue. And uh, so it's just something to think about. Yeah. Yes. I actually used to work valet at a...